In this lesson, we will solve another problem of hacker rank inter interview preparation kit, and it's uh, related to 2D arrays, and it's called hourglass. So uh, we have already solved four problems of this interview preparation kit, and today we will solve the next problem. And we had start. We will start the arrays because we have already completed the warm up challenge. So let's begin the arrays, and it's. 2D array, the first one. So this problem says that we are given a 6 cross 6 2D array. So this dimension is fixed. And uh, there is a notion of hourglass in this array. So three elements and this middle element and then again three elements. So this forms an hourglass. So for example, you can see this uh, in the top corner. If you take the nine elements then it will consist of one hourglass. We will just exclude this and this element. Rest all are the part of hourglass. So in total, how many hourglasses will be there? So first is this 3 cross 3. Then we will move to the right by 1. So let's see in the PowerPoint. So initially we will be here. This is the hourglass. And it will consist of these seven elements only two are excluded next we will move here so next our glass will be formed in this part and now the elements are, we will exclude this and this so we will move once again here and then here so in total four our glasses can be formed by shifting the col columns and once we reach here, we will come back here and then we will start from here to here. So similarly, 4 will be found by uh, moving the rows. So in total, there will be 16 hourglasses in this 6 cross 6 2D array. So the problem says that you have to find the sum of each hourglass. So for example, in the first case, it will be minus 9, minus 9, minus 9. So minus 27 plus minus 9 and again these three so you have to find the sum of this 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 so find the sum of all these seven elements so that will be the sum of the first hourglass similarly you have to find the sum of all the 16 hourglasses and return the maximum of those sums and there are some constraints given that, uh, for example, in this case, uh, the maximum hourglass formed is this value, uh, 0, 4, 3, minus, minus 9 is not part of this. So 4, 3, 7, 1, 8, 6, 6, 12, so 20 and 8, 28. So this is the hourglass with maximum sum. So you have to find the maximum in this 6 cross 6 array. And there are some constraints like uh, this value is between minus 9 and 9. So all are single digit numbers. And this is 6 cross 6. Ij can be smaller. Uh, because it's 6 cross 6, this has to be between 0 and 5. So let's solve this problem. So our approach will be that. Uh, we will find the sum in this hourglass and we will contain a result variable and we will initialize it to minus infinity let's say in this case we will take int min in C++ and then we will find the sum of this so if this sum is more than the existing result we will update the result if it's less than result, we will not change the result. Similarly, we will scan through all the 16 hourglasses and then return the maximum value. So let's uh, do the programming part. So the reading of the input, uh, it has already been given. You don't need to write the code for reading the input. You just need to complete this function, hourglass sum, which takes this array, which is a vector of six elements and return the maximum. So this is the function. So we will
initialize it with int min and for int row equal to 0 row less than 6 plus plus similarly for columns So uh, initially we have started with 0, so this R is here and C is here. So what elements we will take? So this is let's say ARR. So we will take ARC which is this element. Then this one is R is same but C is plus 1. So next is R C plus 1 which is this one and this is r and c plus 2 and what will be this one this one c is same as this but it's r plus 1 c then this one is r plus 1 c plus 1 and this is r plus 1 and c plus 2 and this one is r plus 2 c this is r plus 2 c plus 1 and this is r plus 2 c plus 2 so we will write the exact same thing in our code So I did a mistake here, so we are not worried about this one. So And one more mistake that uh, we will not. So this is the beginning of our class. That is this R and C denotes the first cell. And with respect to first cell, we are calculating the others. So the maximum value can be this, the value of C. Because if we go here, then the third element does not exist. So the C can be 0, 1, 2, 3, till 3. Similarly, R can be till 3, 0, 1, 2 and 3. So this is the last element, this top right corner, top left corner of this hourglass. So this is the last hourglass. So R and C can take max value of this. So we need to change the code here accordingly. Less than equal to 3 and similarly this less than equal to 3. And what we will do if sum is more than result, then update the result. So we can write result equal to, we can use the built in function max of result and sum, whichever is maximum, update the result. And then finally, we will return the result. And now uh, it should work. So, first, let's try to run the code to see if the basic test cases pass uh, so we have a compilation error ok so we have not defined the type and now let's run it again so again there is some mistake we have done some mistake uh, so this thing is repeated rc plus 1 the first one should be rc and rc plus 1 C plus. so this was a mistake now it should pass hopefully
yes so it passes the basic test cases and now we will submit the code to see if all the other test cases pass or not so we see that all the test cases have passed so we have completed this question and in the next video we will see the next question in this series